Awesome. Assalamualaikum apa khabar Hazri Samsuri And what we have here Apa yang kita ada hari ini Is the brand new 911 GTS T-Hybrid So kereta ni Daripada segi luaran Exterior wise It looks similar Dengan model sebelum ini Tetapi Yang paling penting sekali memang ada perubahan sedikit Di sebelah luar Macam kalau kita nampak bumper dia apa semua tu Macam aku cerita dalam video sebelum ni Apa yang kita nak buat sekarang ni ialah We have a for sure expert dengan aku And we will explain The hybrid system And why This car is like wow. And there you go. This is this is it. Ini dia. Betul-betul depan aku. Aku tak pernah aku pakai benda ni. This is like amazing. So with me now is... And your name sir? My name is Matthias Hofsteller. I'm a director of the powertrain from our new 911 Carrera GTS. Can you explain to us yeah. what we have in front of us here? I can see yeah. these orange lines here. Yeah. So what are they? Where, where are the hybrid parts yeah. of this car? I will explain you the complete hybrid systems in this car which we are mounted. All right. So we start with our high voltage battery. So it's up in front. It's this one, yes, and it's placed on the same place where the 12 volt starter battery was from the Carrera. So you do not have the 12 volt batteries. Instead, you have this high voltage battery. Yes, we have this high voltage battery, but also we have a 12 volt battery, of course. And ah. this battery is mounted behind the rear seats. Ah, yeah, it's, okay. a, it's, it's a special one. It's a lithium uh, a ferrum polymer battery, and the size is like a chocolate box. So the 12 volt battery. Yeah, the new the one. The 12-volt battery. Yeah. Yeah. So, but this one, this high-voltage battery, the size is so compact, it's as big as the usual 12-volt battery? Yes, it's the same same space, the same place. And it's a it's a high-voltage battery. We have 400 volts with mm -hmm. this. And then you see the orange cable. Mm -hmm. He goes in the back of the car. All right. And in the, they pass the gearbox. And inside the gearbox is our electrical machine. The motor, the electric the motor. motor. The electrical motor. Yes. So this is the first time the PDK has an electric motor inside? Yes. I see. So you, the electric power goes there, so it gives an additional power to the car. Yes, correct. And correct. Uh, I can also see there, there's the e-turbo there. Yeah. But most important is this high voltage components you okay. see here. Because it's very important that you had to know that in the middle is a high voltage distributor. And mm -hmm. he decides where the currents are going. I see, that's the brain of the whole operation. Yes, that's the brain of the, of the whole system and he decides where the currents are going. If you are recuperate or is there a boost and in which direction it, it, it's, uh, it goes. But in terms of power to the wheels, it will only go via the e-motor in the PDK. Yes, of course, by the e-motor and of course of the engine, of the internal combustion engine, of course. Of this, course. This both. This both. It's both. Yeah. But when you are talking about recuperation, yeah. That will come from the e-motor and also from the e-turbo? Yes, it comes also from the e-motor recuperation and from the turbocharger. Now, now before this, we have hybrids before. And hybrids, normally when we talk about performance, it will be at its maximum when you have electricity, we have enough charge in the battery. Yeah. So how do you maintain there's always enough charge in the battery? Yeah. This is not, it's not an, 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 an plug-in hybrid, you know? Okay. So this means we have uh, a system who help, help himself. Mm -hmm. yeah? So the capacity of the battery is 1.9 kilowatt hours. Yeah? 1.9 kilowatt hours, yeah, very small. And, and they can spend uh, about uh, 40, 40 kilowatt mm -hmm. for the electrical machine into, into, the, the, into the gearbox, into the PDK. And this helps together with the engine to reach our 541 horsepower. I see, and it will always be recharged. And how quick can you recharge the battery? Yeah, the battery is the chemi chemistry of the single cells is mm -hmm. so designed that they are able that are in, a, in a very short time can support a lot of power. But on the other hand, when you are recuperate, it goes also fast ah. to charge the battery, you know? So it's the same behavior, giving and become. So it's a... Uh, it is quick to discharge and also uh, recharge. Yes, yes, and it's Im impossible that a battery goes empty <clears throat> because this high voltage distributor decided when, for example, the, uh, the, the ICE had to support mm -hmm. uh, the electrical, uh, the, the high voltage battery. Now, the engine now is 3.6 liter. Yep. It's bigger than the 3 liter twin turbo. Yep. So, that is why is it bigger? Yeah. 
the engine is completely new developed. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's a completely new engine. You have 3.6 liter. And the reason for this 3.6 liter is, let me say, an emission regulation in Europe. So it's forbidden in the future that we we, 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 we drive the, the, the engine without outside Lambda 1. Okay. But basically, Lambda 1 is where the engine is in its yeah. uh, perfect state. Yeah where you have yeah. perfect uh, combustion? Yes, per, yeah, la lambda one is the value for air and fuel into yeah. the combustion room. Yeah? The perfect mixture. Yeah. So it's a perfect mixture, so the catalyst is works 100%. So only when you drive lambda equal one, the catalyst works 100%. And the new 3.6 liter engine can achieve that? Yes, of course. I of course. See. It's, it's a mod most of the modern uh, engines and uh, they can, in all time, also with catalyst heating, for example, we had to drive lambda one. Ah. After this, we're going to talk about the engine and the yep. knee, right? Okay, so now let me talk in my language. Yep. So, apa yang kau nampak sekarang ni ialah engine hybrid. Okay, sistem hybrid yang sedikit berbeza. Bateri dekat depan dia tu memang kecil saja. Now, sebelum ni, kalau kita cerita pasal kereta prestasi dengan hybrid, problem dia ialah bila bateri tu dah tak ada power, power cuma datang daripada engine saja. So, kereta tu dah low on power. You cannot get max power anymore. Tapi dengan yang ini ni, bateri dia sentiasa ada charge. So, bila masa kau perlukan max output, dia akan tetap bagi power kepada the whole system. Basically, ini adalah bateri yang cepat untuk discharge, cepat juga untuk recharge. So, there is, kau dah tak ada lagi masalah tak ada power dalam bateri itu. Walaupun kau tengah melenjan dalam track. Dan uh, ini kali pertama, transmisi PDK, dia letakkan sekali dengan electric motor dekat tengah tu. Cuma, dalam segi power output, penghasilan tenaga, Cuma elektrik motor itu saja yang membantu enjin untuk memberi hamburan tenaga kepada roda-roda ini. Ha, tetapi bila kita cerita pasal regenerating electricity, menghasilkan electricity, bila kita lepaskan minyak ke brake ke apa ke, yang itu boleh datang daripada elektrik motor di dalam transmisi PDK dan juga daripada elektrik turbo, turbo elektrik. Okay? Now, turbo dia memang menggunakan motor elektrik untuk berkursi supaya kita tidak ada turbo lag. So basically dia boleh berpusing bila-bila masa saja dia nak. Tak perlu lagi nak tunggu tekanan daripada exhaust ke rev tinggi ke apa. No such thing. You don't need that anymore. So sekarang ni engine dia ni pula dulu 3 liter, sekarang 3.6 liter lebih besar. Dulu twin turbo, sekarang sebabkan dia gunakan turbo yang elektrik, satu turbo yang lebih besar saja cukup. So sekarang ni kita nak cerita pasal engine dengan elektrik turbo itu sahaja. Jom kita tunjukkan. <laughs> so, engine ni kalau kau tengok baik-baik, dia memang boxer tetapi dia dah tak besar walaupun saiz dia, walaupun CC dia, kapasiti dia is 3.6 liter, 3600 CC but it looks more compact. Dia nampak kecil malah dia lebih rendah. It's 110 And millimeter yes, lower, lower yes. bukan kedudukan tetapi tinggi engine ni dia dah padat sebabnya engine ini ada banyak benda yang dia dah gunakan elektrik contohnya kita dah tak ada dah lagi you don't have uh, the water pump it's already electric no no the water pump is mounted directly with the oil pump yes the water pump dia sambung sekali dengan oil pump dia juga dan dia dah tak ada dah lagi belt belt dah tak ada dah lagi semuanya menggunakan elektrik motor sebab itu dia cukup compact dan ini apa yang Porsche cakap dengan menggunakan sistem macam ni dah tak ada belt-belt ni dia menurunkan kos pemilikan you lower the maintenance cost which is good so now can you explain me to be a bit more about the 3.6 liter boxer engine yes it's completely new develop as you said and uh, you see the engine has no more belt mm. so all belt driven parts are now electrically or directly mounted for example for the for the uh, in, in into the oil pump and by the way the engine didn't have any starter and no, oh, no generator starter. no generator no generator but the starter and the generator is now our e-motor in the in the gearbox yeah so it's not the isg it's not yes no no so but it can act as a he can he can start the engine yeah wow. and he may can also produce produce uh, uh, um, uh, energy for for our batteries. I see. So it can do a lot of things. Yes, we can do a lot. Start of things. the engine. Start, start the, the engine. A generator. 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 Very powerful. He has 150 and newton meter and 40 kilowatt at very low engine speed. And that very small low motor, speed. Yeah? yeah. This small, this small thing do a lot. I see. Now the engine itself. 
it you, you threw out a lot of the components, the traditional components, yes. so that although it is bigger in terms of it's, capacity, it is, yeah, it's bigger. In but the, is it lighter than the old engine? The, it is of course the, the the engine is lighter. It's really lighter. It's a twenty kilogram less than the Presidiator. Twenty yeah. kilogram. Yeah. Twenty kilo and lebih rendah it, daripada itu. Yes, because uh, we have only one turbocharger. Yeah, and uh, all the other things are very new developed. With the focus, with the focus on the weight. How know? about the turbo? Because we're running out of time now. The turbo. Now I understand that the turbo has no wastegate. Today, yes. Yeah, has no wastegate anymore. No. no. So whenever you, uh, when you close the throttle, yeah. you have a valve actually. Yeah. When you were explaining to us before. Yeah. So that the valve makes sure that the air will only rotate inside yes. and will not go in, back to the inside the turbocharger. It don't go out in the right uh, brand metal metal. It's only inside the turbocharger. I see. Yeah. Itu dia. So turbo tu dia buat dengan kerjasama Bob Warner. So ini dia. Engine serba baru, sistem hybrid serba baru daripada Porsche yang aku syak dia akan gunakan ke dalam model-model yang lain. Aku dah try. Memang pada mulanya kita semua macam sangsi sikit we were a bit like you sure this thing can work. It is 50 kilograms heavier than the old GTS, but overall this is a fantastic system. And uh, you all have to try this out. Korang kena try benda ni sebab I think the first time in the world somebody came out of this system, right? Yep. Congrats. Thank all you. Right. Thank you for coming. Itu sahaja daripada saya, Hazi Samsuri daripada Where are we now? The Ascari Circuit in Spain. Assalamualaikum.